is launching dead. I've seen loads of online noise about launching being dead and the reality is that I use a mix of launches and also evergreen, so selling my courses on repeat. And the reason I do this is because both strategies work. So I started selling my online courses in 2017 and most of those courses were selling with a mix of launching and then some courses sold on Evergreen. So I have a $19 course that sells on Evergreen and has turned over a million dollars in revenue from just one course. And that always sold on Evergreen. So it's a system where um, it's either a YouTube video or a Facebook ad. People see it, they think, oh, that sounds amazing, $19, get confident on camera, and they click and they buy. And so then they're on my email list, they buy into other courses and products and services. And it's a great way to sell. And with the right course, the right price, the right product, it can do amazingly well for your courses. And certainly, um, you know, there are certain products that I would definitely look to sell at that price point with that course or slightly different courses. But there are other higher ticket courses and offerings that maybe need more than just a Facebook ad. They need a launch. And so you need that mix of evergreen and launching. And so for me, launching really helped me because it creates a buzz. It generates an interest in a particular topic, whatever it may be. So for me, I have a course called the Membership and Course Academy. And so that was really, it's a higher price point. It's 997 US dollars. It's 700 pounds. And so people need to get to know me before they buy into that product. So that means that you need a different strategy. I can't just have a Facebook ad and say, buy me, because it won't work. So you've got to really choose the price point for something that works with what you're selling and how it works. So launching is definitely not dead, but you need to make sure that if you are, you can go the evergreen strategy, but be selective how you do it. Now, when you are launching, it used to be that I would do a Facebook challenge and I'd have a big like challenge. I'd spend loads of money on Facebook ads to get everyone to, into this Facebook group. And I'd have thousands of people in a Facebook group. But what would happen was the tech was so unreliable on Facebook that I do this big Facebook challenge, get loads of people in there, spend all this energy getting all these people in, and then no one could find my content. No one could actually show up for my webinar because the tech didn't work properly. It was a complete nightmare. And, you know, I'd spent loads of money on having a big team and doing a big launch and the Facebook ads and all of this stuff. And it was so much drama and it was so much stress because I had to manage all these people. And as an introvert, it was awful. I talk about being an introvert in another video. Check that out. Um, but so I had to find a simpler way. And so for me, I sell my courses on Evergreen. So I'll say, oh, you know, check out a freebie. And then on the back of that, I will sell a course. But I also have a small launch every quarter or so. And I keep it really simple, really easy. And very often I, as a solopreneur, do the launch myself. So I don't have a team and I deliberately do not want a team. And the reason why is because as an introvert, I find it much more stressful to manage people, to check they've done the thing and all of that stuff than it is to just do it myself and keep it really simple. So I have streamlined my processes so it's easy. I have certain people that I get to help me. My VA has been around since 2016, 2017. So she knows how I work, what I want. And so I'll get her to do different things. And then, um, and then I have like, a tech person who can help me with the tech but I keep it really easy. We just use voice notes, I do Loom videos, and I don't have meetings because I'm allergic to meetings. And so I just keep it simple. And by keeping it simple, 
I reduce the overheads, so it means it's a smaller launch, there's less revenue, but there's more profit because I don't, I'm not having a big team, I'm not running ads, so it's an easier launch, there's more profit, and I also, just because it's, it's quieter, it's simpler, it means I can manage it with my son. I, you know, have my son most of the time. He's autistic. I need to be there and very present for him. And if I'm not present, then things derail. And so it's counter counterproductive to me. So I have to make it that I am working on the days when he's at school and I like intensely work. But as soon as he's home, it's like, right, we just make it simple. And that's how I manage my energy and my time. And so I really say to you, think about ways that you can simplify your processes, that you can simplify what you do, how you show up, so that it's easy. And the easier you can make it, the more streamlined it can be, then you can still launch. And it's not a big headache, but still have evergreen going because you get that consistent revenue. So for me, I have evergreen going and I get consistent income from my membership, from various courses, and then I have launches four times a year. So I've got multiple streams of income that you know gives me that safety net of security, gives me that cushion, and then I can also top that up with one-to-one -one services. So it's much more manageable. So find a way that works for you rather than just doing something that everyone says that's the way that you should do things, okay? Do a way that works for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it makes sense to you. And remember, if you want to see that schedule, how I plan out my easy launches, check out my free guide below. It honestly is really useful. It's what I give to my one-to-one -one clients and it will really help you. So check that out. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Please click on the link to subscribe and I'd love to see you again. Take care, bye bye bye.